Hello everyone, this is Mr. McKinley. I am going to show you guys how to update an HP Pro Book today. It's really quite simple. Sometimes the computers will show you that you need to update, as shown by this little icon right here. Um, it looks kind of like little windows, an orange dot. And if you go to the start menu, you'll notice the orange dot also right here on the power option. But I want to show you how to check for updates. It doesn't always show that. Um, sometimes it'll show just that you need optional updates. I'm going to show you how to do all of that right now. It's pretty easy. I like to search in the search bar the word updates, or you can go through settings and updates is normally on the bottom. When this loads, you're going to see all the updates that are available. And I'm going to show you a couple troubleshooting steps once this loads as well. You'll notice that this one says pending restart, and this one says pending install and it gives me the option for restart now. Down below that, let me zoom in so you can see, there's an option for view optional updates. Let's click on that and this will show driver updates. It's a little drop down menu. You'll want to update all of these like Intel Net, Intel Corporation, those are all pretty important. So those are worth downloading as well and downloading and install. Now the thing is with a lot of these updates, if some of them finish and some of some of them are still pending on installing, a lot of times they'll wait for like two or three to go through at the same time and then it'll ask you to restart. So that's something to expect when you're going through it. Now there's a couple of reasons why you might have trouble actually downloading the update and I'll show you while this is updating some troubleshooting steps. First off you want to make sure that the internet down here is on Microsoft Pilot. Um, if you use the public internet, it just doesn't always work as well. It will work on some instances, but not always. We want to make sure that's on the correct internet. Secondly, over here on the right side, there's check storage. Again, you can also search that here, but this has a link over here on the right side. We've noticed now that if it's having trouble downloading or installing it, you can check the storage right here. This will show you a progress bar or um, uh, level bar showing how much storage is free. This student has plenty of free storage available and this will scan your computer see if there's any files. Um, some of the most common ones you can delete are downloads. Um, that'll probably be pretty big. Temporary files, that's that's normally pretty fine to, to empty out. It's not too much that you can't install that we can't reinstall if you need to. Um, but if you notice that if the program files are completely full and it's been being downloaded. Download uh, the biggest one that's obvious that we don't need for our school. Um, obviously state testing stuff, anything along those lines. You'll want to keep Google Chrome. you want to keep all that stuff. But yeah, so you can see right here temporary files is four gigabytes. We don't need pretty much any of those temporary files. This one, apps and features, it'll show the apps here and you can actually sort it by size which is probably what I would do and that way once it's done loading all of those I'll see if I can zoom in here there you go. once it's done loading all those it'll show it's big I've also noticed like some students have found ways to install programs that just aren't necessary like Minecraft education or um, I haven't even seen iTunes so you just click on those click on install if it's, if it's in a really important one, it won't let you uninstall it anyway. Um, like Team Viewer Host, I know that's one that's already in there. It'll ask for admin, so don't worry about that. But like I said, everything in here, temporary files, that's probably fine to get rid of most of those. Downloads alone in this are 3.59 gigabytes, which is a lot of space. That you could probably get rid of. We don't want to do it right now because it's downloading, but that's something to keep in mind. That'll clean it up really well. If there's any other troubles after this point, then of course you'll definitely want to let us know. You'll notice right here it says pending restart, so now we want to restart the computer. Once that's done, there might still be more. Double check in until it says you're up to date and that the few optional updates are gone. And that's how you're going to update the computer. And you can show this uh, video to your students as well. Uh, some of the older grades will be able to, to do this on their own time as well. Thank you.